It's been over 13 years since the meltdown at the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant. Caused by a 9.0 magnitude earthquake, triggering a 20 foot tsunami wave and killing 19 and a half thousand people. The towns were evacuated due to high radiation as a result in three meltdowns at the nuclear power plant. 13 years later, we visit to find what's left untouched since the disaster. In today's episode, we find an elementary school in the Fukushima Red Zone. Left untouched since the day everyone ran out of this school and was evacuated. There's some clothes there. Is it masks? Is it masks? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's some there, look. Oh, warm ones? Yeah, they're all there, the masks. Yeah, but they keep you warm. Yeah, oh, I, didn't, I, didn't, I forgot to bring my warm things. Look at all these, look at these. These are energy drinks. Yeah. Now look at these. There's some mad stuff going on. Oh yeah, so it's uh this is egg bologna sausage and cheese. So as Logan just said. How long do you want? What's going on? Welcome back to a brand new video. In this video, we're in Fukushima, still in Japan, uh, and we are heading up to an abandoned elementary school. It's literally a time capsule from uh, 2011 when the earthquake and tsunami happened and the radiation leaked. Everybody completely abandoned this area, as you can see behind me, and the elementary school is still a time capsule. So hopefully we can get access to it. There is a lot of police around, so we're gonna try and sneak our way up there now and hopefully don't get caught. We've been so successful recently and hopefully we don't get caught like i said guys so all right we'll walk around the front to make sure there's no security and then we'll, we'll find the way in i know there's a guy can count up today we are standing in front of a massive abandoned elementary school so we're at 0 0.164 millisieverts and that's what it's saying on the radiation counter. You can see it's an absolute time capsule inside. You can see there. Look at this, guys. Look at this. So, guys, we've reached the school and it looks like a proper time capsule, guys. See all the abandoned playground stuff across there. Wow, this is mad. Yeah, it's open. My God. Now this is gonna be a good one, guys, because this place is completely untouched from the disaster in 2011. Right, so we're in the sports hall at the moment. There is actually a, a basketball right there. And we have to find the way into the main school, but oh, look at the Japan flag up there. And the clock frozen in time there at half two. We need to find our way round the school now. This is the main bit, so it ain't that. I'm not sure if I've just triggered a sensor. I hope not.
This is unreal. All the children that used to come to this school. So that door's locked. Oh my god. All the school children's bags are still here. Like I was saying guys in that last scene, where they, where they left all the, uh, the school shoes and they ran off in the Wabakis, they had no time to reclaim any of the baggage that they brought to school. Uh, my guess is they're full. Oh my God. Crayons. There's crayons in the bag. School work in the bag. Shut that up there. All oh, everything's full. All these bags are full, even in the desks. All the school stuff. Oh, absolutely. Really sad. So all these bags uh, are identifiable. There. That has got the school children's name on it. And the date of birth, probably. They're all full. Let's see. Let's just have a little look inside here. I don't want to disturb anything too much. Oh, look. It's got the little wabba keys in it for school. So sad. So sad. The globe is just falling to pieces because the amount of uh, years it's been abandoned. This place has been abandoned since 2011. March 11th, 2011, this place was left and it's, no one's been here since. The school has been dormant since, as you can see, outside. Everything's overgrown, majorly overgrown. And this place is also massive as well. completely untouched all the books everything still here the old TV this was like a I could I feel like this is a yeah oh my god there's pictures here of people actually at the school and stuff outside you can see the top of the school there It's like a Pokemon book. <laughs> Pokemon book right there, guys. Sorry, it's been a bit dark there. Uh, I had the camera on a different setting. So we've got some pictures here of the school. 1972. It was built. You've got pictures of Fukushima all over. This is all now abandoned. These were took a long time before the disaster happened. Oh my God, all the trophies right there in the cupboard. See, these are all completely locked, these doors. Oh, there's all the Wabba keys. You can hear the music outside, that is apocalyptic. Wow. This is unreal. You've got all the trophies that I was just saying inside the cabinet. All the trophies, you can see they're knocked over because the, uh, the um, earthquake had knocked all the trophies over when it happened. You've got all the Wabba keys, like I was saying. All the Wabba keys for the school, all still left. Lockers probably got stuff in them too. This is amazing. This place has security patrol in it, this place. Uh, so we've got to be really, really careful. Oh, now that, now that is mad. Okay, so in Japanese schools, they have what they call is a wabaki. A wabaki is when you come to school, you take your shoes off in this area here and you put your wabakis on. And as you can see when I turn the camera around, 
there's no wabakis. There's the school children's shoes. And you're probably asking why. And that's because when the people were at school and the power plant exploded and the, um, the tsunami wave rolled in and the earthquake happened, all these children had to evacuate within minutes of it happening because it was like a 9.0 magnitude earthquake which, you, which caused the tectonic plates in the earth to start moving out into sea. It was quite far out in sea, so that caused tsunami waves to start hurtling towards the shore, which effectively destroyed the uh, Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant. So, when I turn around now, you're gonna say, all these shoes are all off the children that was here at the time of the earthquake and the tsunami. And as you can see, all their shoes are left. Even round this side. It's so upsetting, guys. It's just like the care home, which were filmed. It's really upsetting just to think that these, these people had no time to react. There's some Wabaki still there. That, that person were probably not in school that day. So that's one of the classrooms that we can't access because the door's locked. Mad. There is some open classrooms upstairs, I think. So let's have a little walk down the hallway and see what we've got. Uh, maybe the teachers that are, yeah, teachers I'm thinking that were back in the day when the school were first opened, maybe. All the teachers. All the teachers up there too. Ah, this looks like a little staff room, maybe. Yeah, a lot of cleaning products, stuff like that. My guess is this was a staff room and for all the teachers to read all the learning books and stuff like that. It's just freaky in this place, guys. Abandoned schools back in the UK and nothing like this. This is unreal. Big long corridors, everything's in Japanese. You've got the slidey doors instead of like open and shut doors. Because, oh. Oh my God. Look at all these computers. You can just tell how abandoned this place is. It doesn't look abandoned, but you know, guys, that this is from, this, we're in a nuclear radiation zone. We are in the red zone at the minute. Um, you're not allowed to come here at all. This is the red zone, there's high radiation everywhere. Um, we've got our Geiger counters on and it's less in the buildings, but this is just absolutely surreal. It really is surreal. Like, what the hell have we just walked into? Like, really? next classroom is just the same. You've got all the, uh, the skipping ropes on the outside of the door. And they all seem to have the same bag. Maybe school supplied these ones, because I've seen quite a few of these bags. But wow, it's just unreal. Look, you've got all the little keyboards, what they used to play in the music class. They all had one each. All the books. Little plants that they used to uh, they used to grow, which have died a long, long time ago. It's hard to gather. This place has really been abandoned for 14 years. It's look unreal. So, guys, I've hit the upstairs of this place, and you already know are these are these all lunch boxes. Oh, it's all the crayons. So they've got all, all the crayons inside here. And these are where all the pencil cases are and everything. 
Um, See, these people are all grown up now, and they, and you know what? The bags are still sat here from 14 years ago. If they're alive. That's if they're alive. That's what I was saying. Mate. Some of these kids, I was reading one, and it'd be the same age as me. Nah. These are home monitors. That's that's just monitors. surreal. Like, when we were in school, making his little clay hedgehogs and all that lot, it were happening here then. And if you go inside all the bags, you've got the pencil cases, you've got the keys for the houses. The uh, like recorders and stuff and that. Recorders. Oh, I've got like recorders this and is that. probably even better than the care home. <laughs> oh my God. Every single classroom. Look. There you go. 2011 March. I can't believe it, man. Every single classroom has the bags, skipping rope. Look at that little skipping rope there. All the glues, sellotape, all the stationery. Look at this. Ah, so this quite well have been the school top that they had. And I think I seen someone on a picture wearing one downstairs. I'm gonna put that back in the bag so I don't wanna leave it messy. You can still see the floors waxed from 14 years ago in 2011 when they used to wax the floors in here. This is surreal. Now this is one of the best locations we've probably done in Fukushima so far. There's no damage, it's an absolute time capsule. Okay, have you noticed that Pokemon's not actually called Pokemon over here, it's called Pocket Monsters. Yeah. Pocket Monsters, Diamond and Pearl, and you've got Pikachu with have that. Have you one. noticed as well, that special issue uniform, it's in every bag, look. And I've seen a picture downstairs of them doing sports. Look at that, rats are even chewed into the bag here. Oh my God, either that or a boar or something, yeah. Now, that's rat. Do you reckon? Yeah, Do you reckon right. there's some in there? No, it'd be long gone, it'd have been eight, yeah, look. Oh, it's gone for that it's bottle. Like drink, it knew it were in there. It knew it were in there, it could smell it, look. This is crazy, guys. I'm glad we come. I'm glad we come here. This is absolutely surreal. 100% worth every penny worth the risk. Worth the risk. I tell you what, if we get caught here, we are, we are in trouble. What's in there? Oh, there's drum, kit, drum kits and that in there. Oh, it's a music class. Look at the grand piano. Yamaha. See if it still works. Whoa. I bet that's worth a few bob in it. But you know, guys, you know, guys, we don't take anything and we never would, especially in a place like this because it's so preserved. Not that we're taking anything anyway, because we don't. You've got to think that, that was probably somebody's actual instrument. Of course it was, yeah, yeah, yeah. you used to go to school, they'd um, hear an instrument and your parents would pay for it while you were there and yep. you'd keep that instrument, so that were probably paid for. And, and now it's left there. Now it's just there. No one's thinking of that anymore though, bro, because there were more, uh, cir bigger circumstances, wasn't there? There was no way to get. Oh my God. What? Jesus. No, hey, Dom, they haven't been played for nearly... They haven't been played for over a decade. No, that sounded sick. Do that again. Uh, what, what are you using Caribbean, them fucking tin drums? The bongos. They're like bongos, aren't they? What are them there? Oh, shit. Look at this. Look at that. This is just, mate, my, just, drum kit my back's hurting, you know, and, you, and my back's hurting because of how much I'm tensed, just tense. <laughs> right, so guys, this is one of the most surreal explores I've ever done. There's probably better stuff in Fukushima, uh, but so far, so good. So yeah, it's every single classroom are all just packed with all the stuff, the coats. Imagine how long this coat's been here. How, how is it not mouldy? Oh, I was going to say it's not mouldy. It's not mouldy, it's just dusty. How is it not mouldy? I don't get it. They've been sat here for that long, has it? Well, to be fair, there's not much damp in this place. For sure. 
I don't think I've been up this side because I come up them stairs. You look, see, exactly the same. Traditional Japanese school. What the hell is that? There's for holding the chalks in. Ah, so you don't want to get chalk on your fingers when you write with it. Oh, well, it stuck to it. Did stick to it. Well, let's, let's go up here first. Oh, right. So that's what they were making, innit? Yeah, a little sunshine face. And they were drying there. They were drying there yeah, from... They were drying, actually, man. Yes, no, oi. There's English writing there. Yes, no. Maybe there's an English class. Where are we? Papa Japan. Oh, right, so we're here. Like here, aren't we? Yeah, we're around there, yeah. And then this is uh, so, yeah, Hokkaido. Guys, if you want location for school, there you go. The, <laughs> it, it's about there, innit? But that's, that's the... Uh, like Korea and Russia, Hokkaido, and there's Nagasaki down here, and that's that's where it's nice and warm, and that's where we're gonna go next time, guys. Nagasaki. So yeah, we've not been in any of these, yeah. but if you, as you can see, they're all the same. Yeah, they brought the police cars in, didn't they? Yeah. Third, yeah. third, I didn't even know. They were third, I didn't even know. Look at that. Is that station? Where is that here? I'm at station. Yeah, he's a yeah, station, yeah. Look at that. You're lucky, I'm about to try to get out. Oi, library, is it? No? Oh, yeah, sort of. Like a library. Library, and it's all the books that fell off in the earthquake. He shit me up. Oh, shit me up then, My bro. Heart yeah, so all the books there, guys, have just fell off the shelf in when the earthquake happened. You might see some of Oh, that's out of a hospital. Yeah. Oh, from the uh, not tsunami, from the earthquake. It's yeah, just it's just smashed over. all the books everywhere. That is insane. There's no bags in here. This this, this class wasn't probably running that day. Maybe there's a toothbrush though. Aqua fresh toothbrush. Well, look at this, guys. A spear. I thought it was a samurai sword at first, I was gonna buzz. What's this? So we can get pretty much all the way down this ground floor. Oh, look. Oh, look, this is like the staff room, bro, where they sit down and a little table and shit, look. TV. Yeah, because they don't use chairs, do they? They no, sit no. down on. March, spring, oh, that's, that, is, that is really sad, that, isn't it? Spring is coming. They're all excited for spring. They wrote, oh, yeah, they wrote on the board and everything. And... Excited for spring. Yeah, it's yeah, people have done this. A oh, hospital bed, huh? Hospital bed? Oh, is that a nursing room? That's some kind of staff room, I think. Yeah, well, we're, we're fairly close to the end though, I think, aren't we? Yeah. What's this? Two metres distance. Oh, this is for the smaller kids, isn't it? Classroom and the ball come back in. Have a look at this. Just one bag. Look. Just one bag. Some kids are like, oh, contact. Look at that. Oh. This is a poem that's Mario Pencil Kit. That is mad. Look at that. That is fucking. Sorry, guys, swearing and that. Look at that. Is that a Pokemon pen? No, it's Pocket Monsters. Pocket it's Monsters. Pokemon pen. What? Right, guys, we, we can hear we can hear voices. That 
That way. That way, quick. What that that way? That one over there. No, that's that's what we've just been in. That one there. That is the end of the video. I'm going to end the video here because we're in the red zone. We need to get out and I need to put my camera away before we get caught because someone has just been up uh, in the car. You can see the tyre tracks on the floor over there. But if you did like the video, hit the thumbs up button and hit the subscribe button with the notification bell on, on uh, for more notifications on Luke Adventures. Uh, we've got loads more Japan videos coming out, loads more Fukushima videos coming out. I hope you enjoyed the video. Stay safe, everybody. Uh, I'd say you like me, but we might not get out of this one safe. But... Peace out guys, and I'll see you in the next video hopefully. Peace.